Why wait to earn the degree you deserve? You have the experience. You have the knowledge. Now is the time to get the credit for the work you've done and earn the recognition you deserve by starting your comeback at Purdue Global. It's time to earn a degree you'll be proud of. A degree that employers will respect. It's never too late. Never too late to come back stronger and move forward in your career. Start your comeback today at purdueglobal.edu. Purdue's online university for working adults. A group of high school students started a project to research a string of unsolved murders. There is no profile of this killer except for the ones the students created. What if this guy's still alive? Like, what if he comes after us? Once you start getting a few tips or a few leads or a few identifications, then the cold case isn't so cold anymore. This is Murder 101. Listen to Murder 101 on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Episode 79, our favorite frugal food blogs and recipes. Welcome to the Frugal Friends Podcast, where you'll learn to save money, money, embrace simplicity, and live a richer life. Here are your hosts, Jen and Jill. Mm, 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 mm. Today, we have a special, special episode. It is our first annual 2019 Frugal Friends Foodie Awards Mm. show. (laughs) <laughs> first ever probably the last but who knows kind, probably. kind of an award yeah. show yes we are walking you down the red carpet of recipes and telling you where you should go to find yours to help with your meal planning your grocery shopping lowering your grocery budget all that fun stuff and uh, we're going to tell you why you should love each of our winners. So get ready, put on your favorite ball gown, gussy yourself (laughs) up, and welcome to the 2019 Frugal Friends Foodie Awards. Uh But first, a word from our sponsors. The ones that make this award show possible. Yes. Yes. And this episode is also brought to you by The novel before the recipe. Mm. Do you love finding recipes online and can't wait to make that new one you just found? Slow down, you go-getter. Read this story about the time I went to camp or how my kids were in this really cool play that somehow inspired this dish. Don't be in such a hurry to make dinner. Read the novel before the recipe. Yes. (laughs) These food bloggers. I did not read your sponsor before you read it. (laughs) Similar to what you've done to me in the past, but that's amazing. Yeah, these food bloggers, they got to get their SEO juice from Google. So they got to write a thousand words of useless, not useless. We love useless. Yeah, we love you as people, food bloggers. Um, yes, but it's just nobody, that nobody loves the scroll. I want the recipe. Yeah. So <laughs> it's a it's a love hate relationship with the novel before the recipe. But we digress. But before yes. we get too far deep into that, it's time for our award show. Welcome to the 2019 Frugal Friends Foodie Awards. These food bloggers are graduating to the next level by being honored by the frugal friends whom they've probably never heard of. But anyways, we chose... They don't know that this is happening. Eight winners based on merit of a particular genre of money-saving stuff. All for you to be able Mm -hmm. to help you in your cooking, planning money saving process. So yes. our first category, best use of minimal ingredients. You have to b- make a pause. <laughs> the stone soup. <laughs> so again, we've got these linked in our show notes, but the so- the stone soup, they give all these recipes have six ingredients or less. So you've got your minimalist recipes and I got to tell you, I'm hungry. I think I'm always hungry when we (laughs) record. 
or I'm just always hungry. These pictures, man, they look amazing. She's got some very healthy, some low carb options. She's got awesome uh, pictures yeah, to help carb. you figure out what you want to buy. Zucchini tortillas, halloumi and cabbage hash. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Gorgeous green tart. Anyhow, all of them have six ingredients or less. So if you're looking for some minimalist recipes where you don't have to go out and buy a ton of stuff, and we know what minimalism means when it comes to recipes, it also means less time because that's mm-hmm. less that you're chopping, less that you're sauteing, less that you're interacting with, more that you are just eating. Yes. We love that, especially living in an RV, Jill. You get those uh, healthy six ingredient recipes. Exactly. I've got to have those minimal. If you're doing keto on a budget, Mm. these are great. Uh, So thank you. The Stone Soup, your award is not in the mail. There isn't one. There's no award. Congratulations. There's us listing you on our podcast, which actually we might charge you. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> All right. For our next award, best use of a $5 bill. The award goes to $5 dinners. Mm. This is a blog and she's got meal plans and freezer meals and all that. But what she's really known for is recipes that can be made for the whole family. And each recipe is $5 or less. So, and she's got not just like dinners, but she's got lunches and sides and healthy snacks, desserts, breakfasts, beverages, so, so many things. And you can cook them any way you want. Slow cooker, instant pot, grill, whatever. Lots of freezer friendly stuff. And everything can be made not just for two people for $5, but for a family of four, I'm assuming. That's what a family is. So that's, I'm assuming <laughs> yep, that's no what a family is. No more, no less. Is. Yeah. It so. better not be 4.5. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say, too. So, yes, congratulations, Erin <laughs> Chase, on winning this year's Frugal Foodie Award for best use of a $5 <laughs> bill. Our only year. And up next, we've got best use of numbers. Budgetbytes.com. <laughs> so if you like numbers and your calculator makes you happy, this <laughs> one's for you. Every recipe comes with a price per serving so you can see where it fits in your budget. Also, what's neat about this is you can figure out whether, how many servings you want to make. So if you do have six people in your family and you're not the traditional four-person family, good for you. You're breaking out of the box. Do whatever you want. You can figure out how much is this going to cost per person Therefore, which recipe do I want to choose? So that's a fun one. And then you can all sit around the dinner table and be like, "Ah, Ronnie, this meal only cost me two dollars and fifty four cents per person. Uh, And that's super fun when you can compare that to what you might have spent per person at a restaurant. Yeah, Ronnie so might also, be annoyed, but <laughs> great dinner you'll be conversation proud. with Ronnie. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know a Ronnie. Uh, sorry, Ronnie. <laughs> I love Budget Bites. I have been following her for years, and every time I make one of her recipes, it is always spot on delicious. Because you can have a cheap recipe, mm, but that's true. You got to make it delicious to be on the list. And girl nails it. Good point. All right. Our next award, best use of freezer meals. And the 2019 Mm. Frugal Foodie Award goes to the family freezer. (laughs) Mostly because I just found her recently on Instagram and uh, she has freezer meal plans. She got paid ones. She got free ones. And I have a list of her freezer meal recipes waiting to be made as soon as all this book stuff Mm. dies down. 
I am so excited. They look so good. And she does mm-hmm. her freezer meals. She can do like 20 of them in 90 minutes. I'm not that good. Wow. But she's got healthy freezer meals, camping meals, crock pot meals, wow. grilling, like everything can be put in the freezer. And wow. you need freezer meals for those nights that you just cannot make dinner and you just want to yeah. ha- defrost something in the morning before you leave for work, throw it in the instant pot or whatever and and have dinner later that night. Yeah. It's great for people that are on the go and for those who constantly have the excuse of I don't have time or life is so sporadic that I don't know if I'm going to be home and able to cook. So freezer meals are great because if you do find yourself at home, but no food in the fridge, pull it out of the freezer. Mm -hmm. And this is something that can be made in bulk and stacked away for those times when life is really busy. So carve out a Saturday or Sunday, check out this website and get at it, get to it. Yeah. All of her blog posts, it's not just one freezer meal. It's like 12, 20, usually 12 31 Mm. 17 so it's like all numbers like doable numbers for you to do in bulk and yeah uh, yeah, that's how you do it you carve them all out in one day and then you don't have to eat out for the month perfect yes thank you family freezer (laughs) thank you and up next Our next category is best use of meal planning. Mm. And the 2019 Frugal Friends Frugal Foodie Award goes to (laughs) the name keeps changing. That one up. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Good cheap eats. Mm. So all of her recipes are designed to be a part of a frugal meal plan. So this is for all the people who have difficulty prepping ahead of time, not knowing, oh, what am I going to make this week? That can be a big barrier in and of itself. And you've heard us talk about Cook Smarts and all these different types of resources, but definitely check this article out as well uh, and be able to plan not just, okay, I've got a plan set in place, but is it frugal? Is it nice on your wallet? Is it budget friendly? And are you utilizing all of the ingredients to their max capacity. Mm -hmm. So this blogger has some excellent ideas as far as planning and prepping for what you're going to do, how you can use different ingredients throughout the week. So check her out for meal planning. Our next award is best use of leftovers because... Who likes to eat the same thing mm. five days in a row? Am I right? Mm, not my husband. No, nope. Nobody. <laughs> well, some people maybe. <laughs> some people don't judging. mind it. And I really admire those people who just yeah, right? have peanut butter and jelly every single day of their lives. But yeah, yeah, not can't it. do nope. it. So for the award, the 2019 Frugal Friends Foodie Award for Best Use of Leftovers goes to Cook Smarts and mm. their special infographic on 16 creative ways to use leftovers. This infographic has been a lifesaver for me. It's mm-hmm. literally so if you if you like charts like like numbers and stuff like paint by numbers, then you're going to like this infographic because it lists out all of the things you could have left over like beef, chicken, veggies, beans, whatever. And then it gives you essentially like formulas to make things together. So if you want to make a fried rice, you add eggs, rice, soy sauce, frozen veggies, and then you add your leftovers to those things. And then you've got a fried rice or like a salad on your <sighs> greens, nuts, a vinaigrette, And then these are the leftover things you can add to like add to it. So it's got like a base of staples that you need. And then it shows you how to incorporate Mm -hmm. your leftovers into each thing. It is great. That's amazing because there's been times where I've wished that I could have a chef on call. Well, for multiple reasons. I mean, 
if they could just come cook for me, that'd be great. For sure, but for sure. even to be able to say, all right, here's what I have. Yeah, you know, I've got a tomato, a half of an onion, a jar of this, blah, blah, blah. What can I do? And mm-hmm. this kind of provides that. Yeah. It's not a personal chef that you have on call because that probably wouldn't be very frugal. Mm-hmm. But to be able to look at this and say, what do I have? And get the creative juices flowing on how you mm-hmm. can utilize that to cook at home. Yeah. And it's even got at the bottom. So not just leftover foods, but like five ways you can use leftover herbs and fruits too. Mm. So you can infuse them in an herb sauce, a pesto, an herb butter, and it shows you what herbs will go in what and how to do all these things. So it really is, this infographic is just everything. And uh, while the recipes on Cook Smarts aren't free, you can sign up for Cook Smarts and get 30 days free and 25% off paid plans by visiting cooksmarts.com slash CS and using the code FRUGAL. Mm. We love Cook Smarts. I am a Cook Smarts user with an infant. I just couldn't do meal planning like I used to. I love meal planning, wrote a book about it, but I just don't have, <laughs> I, I don't have the time. Um, and yeah, and Cook Smarts is actually you, from someone who even yeah. wrote a book on it. Yeah. And Cook Smarts has helped me use up some of the ingredients in my pantry and experiment with things that I wouldn't have, like recipes I would not have chosen if I was picking my own recipes. So we highly recommend Cook Smarts. I just mm-hmm. couldn't live without them right now. <laughs> We know New Year's resolutions often don't stick. In fact, on average, they last around 30 days. So if saving money is on your 2024 resolution list, here's a foolproof way to stick to yours. Switch your phone provider to Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are $15 a month when you purchase a three-month plan. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for $15 a month. For those of you paying close to 40 bucks a month for just one phone line, This means a savings of $300 over the course of the year. We especially like Mint because all plans come with unlimited talk and text and high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. To get this new customer offer and your new three-month unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash frugal. That's mintmobile.com slash frugal. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash frugal. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See Mint Mobile for details. AI might be the most important new computer technology ever. It's storming every industry, and literally billions of dollars are being invested. So buckle up. The problem is that AI needs a lot of speed and processing power. So how do you compete without costs spiraling out of control? It's time to upgrade to the next generation of the cloud, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, or OCI. OCI is a single platform for your infrastructure, database, application development, and AI needs. OCI has four to eight times the bandwidth of other clouds, offers one consistent price instead of variable regional pricing. And of course, nobody does data better than Oracle. So now you can train your AI models at twice the speed and less than half the cost of other clouds. If you want to do more and spend less like Uber, 8x8, and Databricks Mosaic, Take a free test drive of OCI at oracle.com slash strategic. That's oracle.com slash strategic. Oracle.com slash strategic. Love it. Also, up next, best use of budget-friendly vegan recipes. Mm. It's a very specific category. Yes. And the winner of the Frugal <sighs> Friends Foodie Award goes to Plant Based on a Budget. Who would have thought? So (laughs) I didn't know how to make that one vague, like best use of vegans. I don't know. No. Yeah, I'm glad (laughs) the title you went with is good. Thank you. So on this site, all of the recipes are vegan and all of the recipes are budget friendly. So if you are on a vegan diet, this one is a must see, must use blog because they give some really excellent recipes 
that won't break the bank. And that can be some of the biggest issue is if you are vegetarian, pescatarian, vegan, keto, gluten-free, you name it. Anything that is specialty can be where we have difficulty with the budget of how do I get all of the nutrients that I need in my diet, uh, still eat well, but yet not break the bank every single month. Mm -hmm. So this is really helpful to give some budget-friendly ideas, recipes that taste good, right? Somebody else has already tried it out for you. (laughs) You're not just making this up in your own kitchen and showing you that it can be done on a budget if this is a diet that you're going for. So definitely check them out. Yeah, I found that when I didn't eat meat... I could get away with eating like the cheap, unhealthy stuff and it'd be really, really cheap, inexpensive, (laughs) but not frugal. But if I was trying to do vegan, then that was a lot harder. You take away all of the tasty, cheap stuff, Mm -hmm. except bread. Bread is still good for everybody. Yeah. You could eat French fries all day and be a vegan. You can, (laughs) But if you want to not shove your body with french fries all day and yet still be on a budget here you go if i had a a blog called plant based on a budget it would definitely just say eat french fries (laughs) and that would just it would be one landing page that said (laughs) eat french fries and that's it and it would take you to my book my cookbook and the cookbook would also just say eat french fries And you'd probably get tons of visitors to your website and ton of purchases on your book. Yeah, I know. The the less you work, the more successful you are. All right. The last award is we haven't saved the best for last because all eight of these are the best. Mm. But our last award is best use of pantry staples. Pantry staples, Mm. they forget they get forgotten a lot. And I forgot it until the very end of the list. So that's why this award is so special. So without further ado, the 2019 Frugal Friends Foodie Award for Best Use of Pantry Staples goes to Mm DontWasteTheCrumbs.com. This Mm. site has plenty of sauces, mix recipes, all kinds of things that help you use up random ingredients sitting in your pantry. Perfectly titled. And she just has some delicious recipes on here too, like jalapeno cheddar biscuits. Seriously? Thank you. She's got a lot of breads, dry onion soup mix. Like how many of you have like dried onion powder sitting in your pantry? Mm. Me. Mm -hmm. That's me. All (laughs) kinds of things. That's a good one for that'd be another one that I'd want to use when I'd want Mm -hmm. to contact my personal chef. But then I realize I don't have one. This would be perfect for me to say, what do I do with that extra ketchup packet that Travis stole for me from McDonald's? Yeah. Like, what do you do? (laughs) Eat French fries. (laughs) <laughs> Purchase my book I, at eatfrenchfries.com. I, I thought I told you this. <laughs> eatfrenchfries.com. Yeah. This is oh, this is a great one. That's the best. You know what else is the best? The, the bill, bill of, of the, the week. week. time for the best minute of your entire week. Maybe a baby was born and his name is William. Maybe you paid off your mortgage. Maybe your car died and you're happy to not have to pay that bill anymore. Duck bills, Buffalo bills, Bill Clinton. This is the bill of the week. Hey, Jen and Jill. Wanted to share my bill of the week. I just called and negotiated my internet bill back down to my original price after they tried to double it on me. And it was surprisingly not a hassle. They were really nice. And I feel like a boss. Happy Frugal Friends. Ah! (laughs) That was amazing. But also, did you just say Happy Frugal Friends? Because if so, that's the greatest thing I've ever heard. Like... (laughs) 
turning it into like like a birthday greeting or something. Yes. Just happy frugal or friends. Happy frugal Friday. I, I don't love know. it. I have to read the transcript. Maybe, maybe, but just happy frugal friends. That's what I'm I going will with. I will go with it as well. But also, good work on yes. negotiating. That is our jam. I can't even believe that they wanted to double it. My jaw well, literally they did the dropped. Same thing I'm to thinking, us. like, you know, we, we have done the same exact increase. thing. They wanted Ugh. to double our internet plan. And yeah, you you know how many people that works with so mm -hmm. many people are just probably like, whatever. Yeah, it's going to go up. I don't have the time to call. Good for yeah. you for calling. This happens to all kinds of people. So if it happens to you, know that other people have called in, negotiated and gotten the rate that they want. Don't settle mm -hmm. for what these companies are trying to do to you because they've got a lot of money. They'll send you a letter, double your rate, and you got to work for that rate you want. It mm -hmm. sucks, but you got to do it and it can be done. Mm -hmm. Glad to hear that it wasn't a hassle for you, though. Yeah. It just takes a little some time on the telephone. Just a little firmness. Firm, but kind. Do it while you're cooking. Yeah. If you want to submit your bill of the week, visit frugalfriendspodcast.com slash bill. Leave us a bill. Please do. We want to hear yeah. it. Yeah. Happy frugal friends. It's never too late. Never too late to earn a degree. Never too late for a comeback. Between your busy career and taking care of a family, it can feel like there's never a good time to go back to school. But your time is now. Time to start your comeback with Purdue Global. As Purdue's online university for working adults, Purdue Global is dedicated to supporting adults like you who know it's time to earn the recognition you deserve. You have the experience. You have the knowledge. It's time to get credit for the work you've done. You can balance work, family, and everything in between while earning your degree. It's time to move forward in your career, for your family and for yourself, with a degree you're proud of, a degree that employers will recognize and respect. You're worth this investment in yourself to earn a degree you deserve. It's never too late. Never too late to go back to school and come back stronger with an education you can trust. Now is the time for your comeback. Start yours today at purdueglobal.edu. From the studio who brought you the number one podcast, The Piketon Massacre, this is Murder 101. A group of high school students started a project to research a string of unsolved murders. If those murders happened in the mid-1980s. He's out there doing stuff. He just didn't stop. Everything that the students predicted through their profile turned out to be accurate. Redhead killer profile. Male, Caucasian, 5'9 to 6'2, 180 to 270 pounds. Unstable home, absent father and a domineering mother. Right handed, IQ above 100, most likely heterosexual. There is no profile of this killer except for the ones the students created. Just because some of these women no longer have people to speak for them does not mean that they deserve to not be spoken for. What if this guy's still alive? Like, what if he comes after us? I said, Are you going to kill me? And he said, Yes. Listen to Murder 101 on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. You'll make us happy. And now, the lightning round. Oh, man. Yeah. I said, I told Rob in our interview, every time I'm going to do it different. Uh, so here we go. You know, I'm trying. And we are getting close to Halloween. And that was mm. an appropriate yeah. intro. So Sc scared you. I did. Yep. I, hope you, that was me. Hope you didn't pee your pants. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> but I was worried. <laughs> You've had a baby now. You got to watch it. I know. Well, uh, hashtag C-section. <laughs> okay. Ah, too much biology. So we're gonna I scare you uh, with that. Speaking of, <laughs> we're gonna make a seamless move from gross things into food because those <laughs> things always go together. Yeah, we want to talk about our favorite recipes from the Cook at Home Challenge that we are getting towards the end of, but you can do at any point in life. Mm -hmm. So. A recipe that I recently made, and I will say with the two that I'm about to share, I've made my own changes to these recipes. So know that you have freedom depending on the, th the ingredients that you have. Yeah. But this one comes from delish.com and it is a bruschetta recipe. So your, your standard tomato bruschetta. 
I made it with a baguette that I sliced up. I put some melted butter on it. They Ooh. use olive oil. You could go whatever but direction you, shouldn't. you want. You should I use did butter because yeah. you know me. Butter. I love butter. So melted butter, toasted that right up a bit, put that bruschetta on it, did a cheese board with the rest of it. Uh, that was a fantastic meal. Oh, oh my I'm gosh. Getting hungry Can you come to Florida again. and make that for me, please? I will absolutely make that. You guys, it's so easy. I just sliced up a tomato, did a little bit of leftover onion that I had, garlic, olive oil, salt, pepper, a little bit of balsamic, done. Mm. It was so good. And then on bread. And then on on some buttered bread. You butter that bread. Buttery bread. Mm. But, butter it. Buttery toasted warm bread. Mm. <sighs> How <laughs> if you're not hungry? I know. Yet, How I can know. I follow that? Um, so <laughs> I'm gonna follow it with a salad. Uh, Woof. <laughs> yeah, right. But this one's from Budget Bites, and because it's autumn, it's a autumn kale and apple salad. And if you know me, you know I love my kale. Mm-hmm. I love massaging it mm-hmm. and making it all deep green and delicious, uh, yes. and then throwing some apples on it and she puts blue cheese but i'm not a blue cheeser so Mm. some goat cheese is Mm. really where it's at for me got it and then just diving in Mm. (laughs) maybe have some grilled chicken on the side oh and yeah doing it or maybe even a rotisserie chicken that i got for five dollars from lucky's Mm. (laughs) i'm gonna have that this week uh, we love food. We might soon just become a food podcast, apparently. <laughs> but you know what? Maybe. Our listeners love it too. So we're just we're going where you guys go, or you're going yes. where we go. I'm not sure who's leading who, but it's. I think we all love it, and we're all on board. The blind leading the blind. Yeah, the, f- My- the hungry leading the hungry. Yes. <laughs> You'd think that at some point with all of our talk of food, we wouldn't be hungry anymore. But I think it's just it's like food begets food and you constantly need it. So in sleep training, they say sleep begets sleep. Yeah. And that's that's something we're trying to teach Kai. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Also, uh, I, I have this other chicken sheet pan recipe that I recently made. It's super simple. It's one sheet pan that you get to throw in the oven. So it's breading the chicken. You you dip the chicken in a little bit of egg, dip it in some breadcrumbs, put that on the pan, maybe put some Parmesan cheese on top of it, and then some chopped up tomatoes and whatever other veggies you've got. Olive oil, throw the whole thing in the oven. Boom. It Mm. literally takes... I don't know, 10 minutes of actual active time, maybe a half an hour in the oven. Super simple. Loved it. Tasted great. Mm. Good as leftovers. You can throw all that on top of a salad the next day. Yes. I am trying this week a baked chicken cordon bleu because that's Mm. in the Cook Smarts meal plan. And I'm going to whip up some almond meal. I'm just going to like pulse some almonds in the blender yes and i'm gonna do that instead of breadcrumbs Mm, mm. so i'm very excited to see how that goes nice yeah report back yes this next one i actually haven't made it yet but it's so interesting that i had to include it before i made it but i will report back with its efficacy in (laughs) (laughs) in meeting my fall needs (laughs) perfect i don't know I don't know if I use that word right, uh, says the writer. Um, It's from CheapRecipeBlog.com, and it is a pumpkin spice dessert pizza. Mm. I almost made a category in the awards for best use of pumpkin spice. That's amazing. (laughs) Because I I really wanted to give this recipe an award. So, (laughs) But you haven't even tried it yet. You just feel it's already award worthy. Yeah, because like pumpkin spice lattes, pumpkin spice bread, pumpkin spice, blah, blah, blah. But like pumpkin spice dessert pizza. So Mm. if you're wondering what's on it, it's like a a streusel topping with some icing. And uh, since this is cheaprecipeblog.com, they say use a whole pumpkin. And since I'm Jen, I'm like, I'm using canned. But (laughs) (laughs) I am so interested in trying this and it makes more icing than the 
recipe needs and they say it freezes well. So I'm very interested in and then pizza, obviously, and we don't need to say anything else. (laughs) Right. Sure. Yeah. I would be upset with you for trying to make me eat all the sugar, but you did also give us a kale recipe. So I guess the good outweighs the bad. Yeah. See, you gave an appetizer. I gave a salad. You gave an entree. And then I gave a dessert. We did not plan that. We did not even plan that. I will say, though, what is your appetizer is my meal. So (laughs) (laughs) I mean, but for the general public, I'd eat it as a meal, too. But you could eat all these things together Mm, in the same meal. That's true. So there you go. We've just given you a meal. mm -hmm. Well, you don't have to eat the whole bread, the whole (laughs) loaf of bread. (laughs) But, before dinner, but, but I will because it's buttered. <laughs> that bread is buttered. So, you know, you know, you got to eat the rest of that. <laughs> yeah. So that was our that was our recipes and our awards. We hope that you loved them as much as we did. So we're going to recap the winners of our Frugal Friends Foodie Awards yep. for best use of minimal ingredients. The Stone Soup. Dot com. Best use of a $5 bill, $5 dinners. Best use of numbers, budgetbites.com. Best use of freezer meals, thefamilyfreezer.com. Best use of meal planning, goodcheapeats.com. Best use of leftovers, cooksmarts.com. Best use of budget friendly vegan recipes, plant based on a budget.com. Best use of pantry staples, don't waste the crumbs.com. So, congratulations to all of our winners. Mm, you're so proud. <laughs> you're so proud. We're so thankful. And we are also thankful for our Frugal Friends Book Club. Yes. This month, we are wrapping up Retire Before Mom and Dad by Rob Berger. Or Berger. We're not sure. It's Berger. It is Berger. We are are sure. You're sure. Okay. I live in a community where a lot of people have this last name and they pronounce it Berger. But Oh. Yeah. Well, maybe we're not sure. Maybe everybody's been saying it wrong to me. Mm. Well, anyways, we're reading his book. The the book is the same and it has great stuff in it. So dive in. Yes. And if you want a free copy, we are giving away a copy for every five reviews that we get. Uh, You can do that by leaving us a review on iTunes or Stitcher, screenshotting the review and sending it to frugalfriendspodcast at gmail.com. We'll select the winners on the last day of the month. One for every five reviews. And, you know, Jen, I we've come across some really great literature uh, on the reviews sites on iTunes mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. Stitcher and even on our Facebook group. So I'd like to share an excerpt from a review. This one comes from A.E. Patrick One, and they, they gave us five stars because that's that's a good example That's what of they wanted some to do. great yeah. literature. And they said, realistic mm-hmm. personal finance. Thank you so much, Jen and Jill, for your energy and enthusiasm for personal finance. You have been an inspiration as I work to dig out of student loan debt, along with focusing on spending money more wisely on experiences that truly serve me. I appreciate your realistic approach and both the small and drastic ways that you suggest to help manage money and time. Good luck digging yourself out of student loan debt. It can be done. And thanks for your review. Yes, thank you so much. And this was, it's a short one, jam-packed with good things. Hope you check out some of these blogs. Hope they help you with your meal planning and saving money on your grocery budget. Until next time, we out. See ya. Frugal Friends is produced, edited, and mixed by Eric Siriano. Although you can also share some of your own recipes and things that you like, uh, Frugal Friends Facebook community group. Oh, yeah.
<laughs> you slid that one in there. You're so good. <laughs> I'm so slidey. <laughs> Sl- sl- slide into people's DMs. <laughs> Eardrums. <laughs> DMs. <laughs> slide into a D- I don't even... I don't know what I'm doing. Slipping and sliding. Uh, brought to you by <laughs> our... What was the one? The slip and slide. We did that for our Frugal Friends Summer Fun episode. Mm, slide down the slippery slope to financial freedom. <laughs> Oh, That's goodness. the name of my next book. I am so hungry. I So it's lunchtime here, and um, I'm going to make BLTs with mm. Chipotle Ranch Mayo or something. Chipotle. Mm. I like uh, to throw an avocado on there. That's a good idea. Avocados make me throw up. It's like this oh, weird allergic reaction, yeah. which stinks because I do like avocado. It's just that I vomit. I don't like vomiting. But I'll also do like a fry. Sometimes I've I've done fried eggs, but I've also done hard boiled eggs. Ooh, Both yeah? are fantastic. Okay. Little, uh, little extra extra at the end of the episode. Yep. Little protein. Yes. Little protein for you. Little extra protein. I hope you enjoy your uh, BLT. Yeah, what are you going to eat? I don't know. I haven't picked up my groceries yet today. Oh no, are you um, so I'm, hungry? I am so hungry. And and once I pick up my groceries, I won't be hungry anymore. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this grocery shopping online thing has really changed my life. And uh, mm. it's it's good. I'm excited to do that. Yeah. All mm. right. Bye. Bye. A group of high school students started a project to research a string of unsolved murders. There is no profile of this killer except for the ones the students created. What if this guy's still alive? Like, what if he comes after us? Once you start getting a few tips or a few leads or a few identifications, then the cold case isn't so cold anymore. This is Murder 101. Listen to Murder 101 on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Discover the heartwarming and hilarious world of sibling connections on Sibling Revelry with Kate Hudson and Oliver Hudson. Dive into family tales, explore the human mind, and laugh with guests like Joel and Benji Madden. It's more than a podcast. It's a celebration of the ties that bind us. And it's fun because we've decided to open it up to really like all kinds of different siblings. And it's going to be an awesome season. Listen to Sibling Revelry with Kate Hudson and Oliver Hudson on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.